Where do all the laptops go? Where do all the cell phones go? Guayu, Guayu. Where they strip down copper wire in conditions that are dire. Guayu, Guayu. Why do we send e-waste afar? Is safe recycling bizarre? Guayu, Guayu. Maybe Moore's Law is to blame. Save the earth we must proclaim. Guayu. 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 Hi, I'm Troy McClure. You might recognize me from such YouTube videos as... Okay, so I'm not really Troy McClure. Just wanted to add a bit more Simpsons. But before that little song, had you ever heard of Guayu China before? Probably not. But did you know that before 2000, the majority of old computer screens, uh, keyboards, laptops, towers, and other electronic items, better known as e-waste, got shipped to cities like Guayu China for recycling? Why? Because it was 10 times cheaper to handle recycling overseas than here in North America. And when the U.S. alone produces 2.6 million tons of e-waste a year, well, that can add up to a lot. Moore's Law can be defined as the following. Chip performance per dollar doubles every 18 months. This has led to rapid obsolescence and an increase in the amounts of e-waste as we are pressured to upgrade our home computers, laptops, and cell phones just to keep up with the rest of the world. Now take this laptop for instance. I bought it in the fall of 2007 just as I was starting university. Wasn't I pleased to find out that three months later Dell was advertising it for $200 less than what I paid for it. That's $200 in three months. And that's a lot, especially on a student's budget. And the thing is, in the next five years, I'll probably buy another laptop. Now this got me thinking, what'll happen to this old laptop? I'd like to recycle it, but how do I know it won't end up in Guayu, China? How can we make sure that our electronic recyclables get taken care of in a responsible and an environmentally safe manner? Well, I did a little bit of research and I found a great website that's especially applicable for all you British Columbians out there. You can find it at www.recycle.ubc.ca slash ewaste.htm. This site is run by the University of British Columbia. They make sure that all recyclable e-waste products get taken care of either directly on campus or through programs run by the province and the Basel Action Network. Now as you check out that site, I'll leave you on this note. Maybe everyone else has the 999th generation iPod, but I'm pretty sure your 998th generation iPod will work just fine for another couple years. This has been Hannah Evangelista. See you next time!